Welcome back to the channel, it's Gaz here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Just a disclaimer before this video starts, everything that you see in this video is subject to change. If the developers decide the thing in here that isn't meant to be here yet, or it's not quite ready, then they will just take it straight out. So, let's get straight into this video. Season 3 is just around the corner. And with Season 3, that means more maps, more weapons, more game modes, more fun. And that is exactly what we're getting with Call of Duty, Warzone and Black Ops Cold War Season 3. So we're going to start off with the multiplayer maps. The first map is called Yamantau and it is a 6v6 map. What I will do is I will just chuck up a bit of gameplay in the background of this Yamantau map or whatever you want to call it. And so here, here is that bit of gameplay so enjoy that one. Diesel is the next 6v6 map, but it is also coming as a 2v2. And once again, we also have gameplay of this one as well. So let's just chuck that bit of gameplay up right now. So those are the two brand new maps coming, that is Yamatao and Diesel. The next map that we have coming is Standoff 6v6. You might recognise this map, well some of you might, depends how old you guys are these days. So Standoff, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 6000 and it's going to Black Ops Cold War. Here it is, Standoff 6v6 making a return once again, such an awesome map and uh, Standoff is making a return. Duga is a multi-team and it's in season so this one won't be coming at the launch of season three duga you might recognize this one it kind of looks like the the thing that you see in outbreak or is it the uh the other want to be warzone map it looks like that well you can see the picture on the screen right here honestly doesn't look very exciting but there we go duga new multi-team map and that is coming in season so most likely a couple of weeks into the season or at the mid-season event that is coming up but we'll talk about that one just in a little while new multiplayer modes are coming well they, they say new but really it's it's just a reskin of what we've seen 10 years ago so sticks and stones is making a return once again awesome game mode uh, black ops one wagers you know that if you've played that absolutely amazing and the next game mode which is coming this one's actually going to be in season it is called multi team elimination and the images of a soldier with a parachute so you can see where that one's kind of going to so now we actually have another score streak coming into black ops cold war and it says new score streak and once again it's not a new score streak stop saying it's new stuff when it's just reskin stuff of things you've made 10 years ago but either way straight front pretty good score streak you might recognize this one from modern warfare 3 and once again this is making a return let's head over to warzone so as everybody knows warzone is getting a new map or a new map update it's getting a reskin to like a 1980s kind of style of the dance and basically we've been talking about it for the last few weeks so that is coming at the very 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 beginning of season three so make sure you look out for that one it's like the 21st or 22nd of april that event kicks off and also with warzone we have the new warzone event and this one's called hunt for adler adler's gone missing we've got to go find this guy so let's all go and hunt for adler i imagine it's gonna be like the one that we had for woods uh where we had to basically go into the map find him then like run to the stadium it's like come some kind of event leading up to the beginning of Black Ops Cold War. I imagine it'll be something similar to that, but maybe with a little hint of a twist. A little bit of a cherry on top, if you will. So that is coming. That is a new Warzone event coming. There's a new map update, if you want to call it that, or a new map. That's multiplayer and Warzone out of the way with. Let's head over to Zombies. Zombies has got absolutely shafted. 
honestly, they might as well not have even brought anything out for zombies. So, let's get into this. Zombies is getting a new outbreak region. It's called Duga. We've just seen that in the in-season multiplayer map that is coming for like multi-team. That is now coming to outbreak zombies. Honestly, overrated. Absolutely hate outbreak zombies. Chuck that in the bin and let's get some good maps on the way. So, that, never mind, never mind. So, we also have a new field upgrade and this is called Toxic Growth. As you can imagine, it's going to be some green kind of liquid chemically mess and it's basically going to transform you or transform into or like or a zombie and it's just a new field upgrade which you're probably going to use once and never use again let's be honest so outbreak is getting some new vehicles and this is where things really start to annoy me i you know me on this channel i love zombies i play zombies all the time and they say new outbreak vehicles cargo truck hold on a second my friend new outbreak vehicles cargo truck we had this in Blackout. We had this in Warzone. We have this in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. We do not need... I'm, I'm getting a bit angry right now, but we do not need... Well, you do not need to be telling us this is a new Outbreak vehicle. This is not a new Outbreak vehicle. This is you shafting the zombie community once again and saying this is something new coming to it. It's not new. Okay, so we're also getting something called the FAV, which is a car lookalike. I'm pretty sure... We have this in Dirty One already, so it's not new. Stop saying things are new when things are not new. Okay, let's just calm down a second now. Outbreak is also getting some more intel. They they say this out, you know, they say this every single time. New intel, basically, it means you go into the game, you pick up a few items, and that's it. It's nothing really exciting. They're trying to build a narrative, and it really isn't working. It's not fun. And Outbreak is such an overrated game, but I hope you guys can, you know, agree with me on that one. And uh, don't roast me in the comments, because it's just not a fun game mode. That is Zombies out the way with. Let's calm down once again. So, we actually have some new weapons and operators. Let's go over the weapons first. Oof, it says new. I'm not even going to look at the word new, but it says PPSH41. We're just going to skip past that one. I don't want to be ranting anymore about the word new. So, we also have a Swiss K31 sniper rifle. I'm pretty sure this is another sniper in another game, and they've just brought in the exact same thing and called it something different. It's not new. Ballistic knife. Not new. The Carve 2. Kind of new, but not new. It was in a previous game under a different name. It was a very underrated weapon, and they just brought it back called it the Carve 2. Okay. Fair enough, underrated, bring it back, let's give this thing some love. Fair enough, I, I can deal with that one. The Amp 63. This looks like a, an automatic pistol or a low-end submachine gun looking thing. Uh, not much you can really say about it. Amp 63, there it is on the screen. Baseball bat. This right here, the baseball bat, is the most basic thing you can say is new for a melee weapon. Put some imaginative skills into this one. At least chuck some spikes through it, at least. So baseball bat, there we go. We've seen it before in like Black Ops 3, or was it Black Ops 4? Whatever it was inside the, the uh, supply drops for the melee weapons. Baseball bat is making a return once again. So let's skip over to the operators. It says night in season, something new, finally. Thank God for that. Wraith, no, 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 fuck off. This is Battery from Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. Piss off, this is not new, and this is not a fucking Wraith skin. This is Battery, so piss off with that one. Captain Price, not new, fuck off. A Antonov, new, fine, well, I can deal with that one. So that's all the operators. Oh, I'm getting on a right rant right here. This season is probably the one that's annoyed me the most. So new prestige levels. I hate the prestige in this game. There's four prestige levels. That's all I'm going to say about that one. And finally, we have on this roadmap, Season 3 Reload. And this is a new limited time mode, and it comes with rewards and more. Stop saying more. Tell us what the goodies are. And that is apparently coming with a mid-season event. So that is everything so far coming with Season 3 of Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. We'll obviously get the Battle Pass 
a, a bit closer to time, a bit more information on that one. So that is coming out with Season 3, multiplayer maps, Warzone, Shafted Zombies experience, not new weapons, and some okay operators. That is everything that's coming with Season 3. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you have. That like button also has your name on it. Run downstairs into that comment section. Drop all your thoughts about this season. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'm out. Peace.